Hi there, welcome back to my channel, The Broken Hearted Homesteader. And this video is going to be titled, Still Broken, because I have seriously been considering, as I think I've mentioned before, changing the name of my channel. Because I don't want to think of myself as broken. And you know what? I have come to the conclusion that it's, I can have really, really, really great days and I can have some really, really not so great days. And the reality of the situation is, is that I am still broken. I still suffer from PTSD. I still cannot lead life like normal individuals. And that's okay. I um, also, you know, wanted to update you guys about the AC because that um, has caused a ton of stress, which kind of took me off of my um, high plane that I was riding for a while and sent me kind of spiraling because um, the, the rooftop AC unit number one was defective. And because the RV guy had to do um, the work in multiple stages because of his own schedule and his family life and la 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 la, it ended up that we were getting so close to the return window that the only thing I felt I had left to do was to rip the entire thing out and start over. And that leaves us in, you know, tomorrow's June 1st and there's no AC other than what comes stock in the van, uh, which isn't enough for Tilly. I can survive with that just fine, but it's not enough for Tilly, especially if I need to leave her like at my parents or I need to leave her in the van, the AC is just not enough. Um, so we, that whole project, um, had a budget and that budget um, with the gentleman's time and um, parts and everything was going to be $2,500 you know renovations always run a little bit lot more than that so maybe 3000 and because I have to pay him for his time um, it, I, you know, I'm not going to get that money back if I say, well, we can't do the project. And, you know, people have said, well, that's not really fair because he suggested the whole thing and, you know, it's kind of, you know, his responsibility to make it work. But it ended up being a case where, you know, he said it was the company's fault. The company said it was his fault. And while they bickered back and forth about whose fault it was, I was going to lose the almost $900 for the AC unit because my 30 days to return it was going to run out. So I just decided this is not worth it. The stress of all this is not worth it. I don't care who's right. I just care that I don't lose another $900 on top of the, you know, hundreds of dollars I've already paid this gentleman to do this work. The generator um, that I had on the back that I showed you was becoming increasingly unsafe because of the way the hitch and the swing arm and the cargo basket all were put together. It just wasn't a good setup. And at one point, the, the generator was tilting almost off the whole cargo basket. So the whole thing was just really becoming a stressful disaster and I felt really unsafe and the AC wasn't working. So back it went. But in the process of that, <clears throat> the day that he took the AC off the roof, I had to pay him again for his time, which he did. He did work and he did put in his time and effort, so I understand that. Would it have been great if the whole project worked smoothly and everything just turned out great? Yes, it would, but that's not what happened, and so I agreed to pay him. Um, to remove the AC unit off the roof 
and thankfully my wonderful friends Sandy and Alex who um, from time to time watch the channel so huge shout out to you guys if you're watching um, they have an RV project and they already had a max air fan that they were going to install on their RV and they graciously um, gave me their max air fan and then I bought them another one to replace it and so we installed the max air fan on the roof which is what in my mind I had envisioned happening all the way from the beginning so that is the other lesson you know to just go with your gut and stick to what you think is right um, anyway so the day the AC came out I was so overwhelmed and the thought of losing like hundreds and hundreds of dollars um, you know I've had to make purchases big purchases um, my disability uh, back pay is dwindling 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 so to just walk away from thousands of dollars um, that I need was really 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 upsetting and I was trying hard to find peace and um, figure out what the lesson was but it was really hard and so when the Sunday came around and they were ripping the AC off the the roof and my daughter Emma was with me and she wasn't feeling good and so all the stress kind of mounted up together and I ended up having a panic attack on the floor of the van sobbing hyperventilating which I hate to do in front of my daughter um, but I couldn't help it there was just no more that my body could take of the stress of the situation and so um, we got through it as we always do and here we are so now it's been a week or more since we ripped everything out and the max air fan that is in the roof works beautifully at night so once the day starts to cool off if I can get the van cold enough just with the residual AC from the van itself um, get the, the everything cold to start with and then go to sleep then when midnight or one or two and the temperature has cooled off outside I can flip open that max air fan and draw in the air from the night and it cools everything down just fine and then we're fine the rest of the night and Tilly has been fine no problem so um, in that thinking the max air fan was perfect and a good way to go so that doesn't get us through the daytime hours where we're in Florida and I don't want to leave Florida especially now that I've lost all this money and I don't have the gas money just to be running around the country I had thought I would go to North Carolina um, for a couple of weeks at least with my daughter and get out of the heat but if you put that in a gas calculator it's at least $200 in gas to get there and then another $200 back for a two-week trip is just not feasible on a disability income and that's what I've really tried hard to do because through this AC uh, project going south I also have learned uh, lots of lessons I've also learned that I'm gonna need to keep as much of that disability money that's left in case there's other emergencies in case other things go wrong in case I have other needs um, so I'm really trying hard to stick to the um, the disability uh, money that I get every month which is not a lot it's doable it's double what I was living off when I was just trying to live off um, the interest from my nest egg from the house it's double that so in theory I should be golden um, but if I'm running from St. Pete to Spring Hill to Tampa gas is like not so uh, so to do a hundred dollars worth of gas a week is is pretty easy if I'm making those round trips everywhere so I learned that I have to be a little more careful uh, with the budget and I have to really think through my decisions really fully um, but I'm growing and I'm learning and it has taken some time to self-reflect and you know um, 
talk to God and find my, my inner peace again, but I've got it and we're learning. I've learned that the afternoon hours can be spent here, out here. I'm at Cruise Lake Park for the afternoon and Tilly's here with me. There she is. And she's not panting, so I know she's okay. The breeze coming off the, the lake is beautiful and we're fine. You know, we did, we did some laundry and it's drying now. We're doing fine. And I never would have imagined that I could be out here in the heat and find places that I would have this kind of breeze that we could still be okay. I was just really, really, really freaking out that I cannot survive in Florida with a dog in the AC without AC. Um, so in all fairness, I have also ordered a small portable room AC unit and it will arrive at my dad's house, my parents' house on Monday, hopefully. So um, if there's times when I have shore power available to me because the van does have that outlet now on the side, so I can plug an extension cord in from my van to um, my parents' house or uh, my friend Frank's house, my friend Heather's house. I can plug in in those places and then I would be able to run the AC, the portable room AC during the heat of the day if we were gonna be in the van. So that is still an option and the, the AC I found I will do a video about it once it gets here. It's small and portable and only 44 pounds, so I'm hoping I can lift it. But again, this is a process. This is learning. This is life. You know, life throws you curveballs and you figure out how to maintain your peace and how to keep your uh, self centered and focused in the midst of the crazy. And you just have to trust that everything's gonna be okay. In the long run, you're gonna learn, you're gonna grow. And I hate that expression, but what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And it is true. And you know, it is what it is. So we're learning, we're growing, we're having new experiences, um, finding our way. Another update, um, Tilly has started her service dog training we are actually finished with our, almost finished with our first six week class. So next Wednesday, uh, Tilly will go through a test and if she passes, she will have her first of, I think four certifications. Um, the other certifications are not going to be as easy to get. This was, this one is called Star Puppy. So it's basically, you know, sit, stay, you know, the basics of training. And we're not consistent with those basics yet. She's uh, eight, just eight months old and had never been trained before. So we're um, working on it. We're working on it every day. We do a little bit and we're getting better and better every day. So hopefully, fingers crossed, she'll be able to get that Star Puppy certification next week. And then we're gonna take a couple weeks off and then the next uh, training class will start probably the beginning of July. So we'll have some time to um, not push quite so hard and just keep finding our way as it gets hotter and seeing what works for us. But I knew it had been a long time since I made a video and I was pretty sure you didn't want um, really crazy broken faith uh, hyperventilating in the van on a video so we just took some time and refocused and recentered and found the piece again and so I wanted to give you guys an update I so so appreciate all of your thoughts your comments people reaching out uh, it really really means the world to me to have you guys as part of my community and to be able to share these moments with you and to share the love. So that's all that I have to share for now.
but definitely feel free to leave uh, comments and let me know your thoughts about how things when go when we hit bumps in the road and if you have any valuable life lessons that you want to share that would be great too so i'm sending you all tons of love thanks for sticking with me this is a kind of a long video but i wanted to get you guys caught up and so i will talk to you again soon take care for now lots of love bye